ladies, it's Jen. Today I'm going to show you how to do a foil technique. I've never done it before, but after watching another distributor video, I thought I would give it a try for myself and shoot a video for you guys. So what you'll need is um, a small dotting tool. You could also use like a toothpick um, if you don't have our dotting tool. And then this is the nail art tweezer. It's really sharp and it can pick up uh, tiny little things. Um, if you don't have this, you could use a tweezer, uh, but I think this would probably make your life easier. And then you're gonna need your choice of chrome. I'm going to use uh, number 10 Southern Lights. And on my nail, I have two coats of baby cakes. And then I did this swirl uh, just on one half with a dusky blue. So what you're going to do is use the silicone mat. Um, this is a really helpful tool uh, for nail art and just for doing your uh, nails in general. It makes cleanup really easy. Um, so I would recommend grabbing this if you don't have it. Okay, so starting with um, a darker color. This is going to give your chrome a darker base and I'm going to just paint a really thin coat of this on my mat here. Okay, and once you've done that, you're going to take your lamp move away your other polishes uh, from, from the lamp and you're gonna cure this for the full, full 45 seconds just directly onto your, your mat. Okay, then you're gonna take your chrome and you can just use what's in the lid, should be enough, and just pull up Oops, I guess you can't see this. I'm just dotting it onto that polish, okay? Then you're gonna take your, it looks like this color didn't um, cure all the way. So I'm just gonna stick it in here and cure it for a few, for one more cure. Okay, then you're going to take just little pieces of this foil that you've created and kind of tear it apart. Okay, when you have several, mm. you're gonna go ahead and use your Clearly Frisky to paint over your polish that has already been cured. And you're also going to cap your ends with this here. Okay, then you're going to just pick up whichever shapes you like. And you're going to just put them into that wet polish. Okay. 
if you want uh, bigger chunks, smaller chunks. It's just totally up to you. I'm kind of trying to lay it right on that line between the two colors. one's kind of trying to curl up on me. I have to pull this one up here. And flatten it out. <laughs> Let's try this big piece. Just try to get the edges into the polish. We are going to be going over it with a coat of really frisky, so that'll kind of help push down any edges that are popping up. And let's see, try this little piece. You can kind of um, play around with their placement. Pretty. Okay, so once you get it how you would like it, then you're going to do a full cure. It's not pretty, it's a little bit, um, some of the edges are coming up. So you can take your Clearly Frisky, you could even do like a top coat, um, like Stardust. Make sure you're doing a thin coat. Then this one's, you can see it popping up a little bit. So I would just try to get it as flat as you can when you put your foil down. Um, but it's a really pretty technique and you could have a lot of fun with it depending on which comb you use and which colors. And then I would go ahead and give this a full cure, but that's just kind of an example of how you can do the foil technique. And every time you do it, it'll look different. Um, have fun with it, play with it, and I'd love to see your pictures. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.